So, uh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Do you want me to tell you the truth, or do you want me to sugarcoat it? What's to sugarcoat? I did great. It's best damn EDC, not cheapest EDC, right? <laughs> Thick. T-J-C-C or T-J-C. she thick. Yeah, well, at least you get two C's out of the goblin. Yeah, okay, you guys, Megan is still mad or upset <laughs> because the very first time that I introduced her in a video, a lot of the comments said uh, that she was thick, but one person said she was thick with a K, T-H-I-C-K. No, it and, wasn't even a K, it was just one C. Well, then somebody else said that you were oh, thick with one, one C. Not two C's, just one. And that apparently is insulting. I don't understand the, like, semantics of the different uses of the word thick. But apparently, there are very derogatory thicks and very good thicks. I don't know the difference. So, as some of you may have known, I have been focusing on my fitness and stuff. I started going to the gym last week. I started eating better about 40 days ago. And I'm down 18 pounds. Feels feels good. The secret is just don't eat anything. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, just eat clean. That's what I've been doing. Portion control. Eating clean. It feel good. And the gym sucks. Actually, it's been fun, but it's gonna suck after this week. Okay. So today we are going to REI. I've done Lowe's, Walmart, Harbor Freight. And Amazon EDC is today we're going to REI and I wanted to go to REI because it's actually a very good place to do this video you can actually come away from REI with everything I know they have watches they're probably going to be kind of expensive though because they're all like Garmin watches um, I know they have knives they have Benchmade I don't think they have Spyderco but they have a selection of knives they have multi tools they got a big selection of Leatherman's and all this is based on like the last time I went to REI, which was quite a long time ago. And I hope I have my gift card. I have a REI gift card. I would say, I don't know if it's in there, but uh, I know they've got all of that. They have flashlights. The last time I was there, they had Phoenix flashlights, which are really good flashlights. So in theory, this will one, be a pretty expensive trip to REI. And two, I will actually have the best complete EDC that I could put together in a store in person on the fly I think I'm guessing what do you think I'm gonna spend you don't really have the frame of reference I don't think but but based on what I know of the brand I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 500 Ooh, I hope I don't spend 500 today I'm gonna try to get out under $300 <coughs> it's gonna be tough this is probably gonna be an expensive video I hope not, but I mean, I have to do it for science, right? <laughs> That's what we're talking, we are, we are sciencing today. Anyway, we'll find out. We're gonna be there in, you know, 20, 30 minutes and we'll, 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 we'll just see. So just as a refresher, this is what we're looking for. Knife, watch, flashlight, wallet, pen, keys, and maybe a multi-tool of some sort. Let's see what we can find. Okay, let's start with knives. Oh, oh, they have it locked up. Oh, I haven't ever had an arm bar. Maybe I should get an arm bar. That might be the multi tool that I get. Should I get the full size Crooked River? The full size what do you, buddy? Crooked River? This giant knife over there. I think I'll go with that one. Which one? That one back there. The RC05 or the LD30. Both of those are pretty good. There's, I actually need this. What is that? Uh, the Leatherman Ratchet Driver. I may get two of them. <laughs> and, yeah, we're definitely spending uh, 500 uh, So, realistically, if I got the best little ABC multi-tool, it would probably be this one. The Leatherman Sport PS4. Or the Leatherman Skeletal. But... I haven't had one of these, so I'm gonna try this. 
and I think it will work. It won't work with this. It's okay. It's kind of cool the Phoenix Six. I can't. 550? I, I can't do that. I can't do it. Okay, all of these. Okay, maybe this one, the Brilliant. Forerunner. <laughs> like, that's more of your budget. Here's a Fisher Space Pen. There's the Backpacker. Stowaway. That thing is tiny. I think I have to try this too. An everyday carry kit? Yeah, it's $15. That's awesome. That's it cool looks though. kind of crappy though. Compact wallet. It's not very compact. I was gonna say that looks like a pretty dang big wallet. <laughs> yeah, so is this. Ooh, that's a weird feeling. What the hell? It's a waterproof wallet. That's weird. Alright. Right. That wasn't so bad. How much how much how much did you end up spending? Well there's no receipt, so I don't know. <laughs> I'd, there's just no telling. <laughs> I did get a discount on the knife. For not having... For the record, because there was no box. So, uh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Do you want me to tell you the truth? Or do you want me to sugarcoat it? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. What's to sugarcoat? I did great. It's best damn EDC, not cheapest EDC, right? Damn. Megan estimated... I would spend five hundred dollars, and I told her she was crazy. There's no way I'd spend five hundred dollars. I was gonna spend under four. <laughs> <laughs> um, I spent four hundred on a watch. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, and then I got a two hundred dollar knife and eight dollar flashlight. Yeah, I spent $860. $860. What are we doing? What am I doing? Why? Why? I'm having a little bit of an existential crisis right now. Uh, but that's okay. It's, it's for science. Right? So we made it back uh, from REI. That was significantly more expensive than I expected. I mean, I kind of expected it going into it. I didn't expect to get the watch I got. I was gonna try and just get something cheap, but the only like sub hundred dollar option they had was a Fitbit Inspire 2, which was a hundred bucks. And I don't know, I just didn't want a Fitbit. So I ended up getting a Garmin, but we'll, we'll talk about that. And, and one of the reasons why I just went ahead and splurge for the Garmin. Okay, so let's get inside and see what all I got from Aria. I'll just go ahead and pull everything out. Uh, so I got the Garmin Instinct Solar. I got that wallet thing. I got a Benchmade knife, which doesn't have a box. A Phoenix flashlight, which I told you guys, they had Phoenix stuff. Um, or a key, which I didn't know they had. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything else out all at once. So I get the bag off the table. You didn't even know about this. I threw a little titanium whistle in. It was cool, it said titanium, I had to get it. So here we are with everything I got from REI. And, and I do have some redundant things here. I have um, the two carabiners. Uh, one, because I would rather have one of these actual, actually useful carabiners and the night ties I did in the Lowe's video. And it's fine, it works, but I was not I was afraid that this carabiner wouldn't work with the Orbit Cube. We'll get there. The Leatherman ratchet driver I got because I wanted to try it out because it's kind of a new thing. And I don't think it'll actually work with the arm bar. It might because you can actually use the flat bits in a quarter inch bit driver. But all that's to say the Leatherman ratchet driver wasn't something I originally planned. I saw it and grabbed it because I wanted to try one and I just haven't ordered one from Leatherman directly. I knew I was gonna spend a good amount of money on a flashlight. I knew I was gonna get roped in on a watch. I didn't know that I was gonna get hooked for $400. And I had a pretty good idea of what knife I was gonna buy, um, but the rest, Kind of surprised me, especially the wallet. I know in the past that REI has had Mighty Wallets, which are those Tyvek wallets. They didn't have anything. They they had this, which is a compact wallet, and it is not compact. In fact, let's just start there. Let's start with the wallet. I want to start with this because I think this is going to be the worst thing that I've picked up. And in the past videos that I've done like this, it's more of like all of this stuff sucks and this thing's good. Uh, this video, I, I kind of figured REI would be a really good subject for this video, this challenge series. 
uh, but I did not expect the wallet to be the part that really sucked. Uh, I figured I might struggle with flashlights or something else because I just figured they wouldn't have them in stock or something, but they just, just didn't have options for wallets. This is the closest thing. And the reason I grabbed it is because there's a lot of room in here. Let's take this off. I don't know how they expect you to get this out of there. I guess like that. So this comes from PackSafe and it is called the RFID Blocking Compact Wallet. And this thing is not very compact. I guess getting it out of there and getting this thing out of the middle of it, it's not horrible, it's not super thick, but this is not something I would call compact or even slim. Um, it could be cool. And the reason I'm okay with something like this uh, is because this is a challenge and I'm not actually carrying this thing. But even if I were, lately I've actually been sporting this. This is a dad's fanny and it I, I wear it as a sling and I actually throw my wallet down in here and don't have my wallet in my pocket because I actually don't use my wallet all that much. So if I'm throwing it down in a bag, this would be okay. You have a little zipper pocket for change. And you could maybe even fit a piece of gear in here, something slim, like a utility knife or something. You could probably fit that in here. So that's cool, but this was $30. And for 30 bucks, honestly, this is not something I would personally buy. Uh, it's just what I had to get because of the challenge. And obviously, uh, as I have to do with every one of these videos, I'm not saying go out and buy this stuff. I'm, I'm just showing you an example of what you can buy in person at a store. I do not recommend going and buying everything from one store just because you want EDC gear. Just showing you what's available in you know places that you may happen upon in the real world if you don't want to buy something from amazon you can go get some of this stuff from your local rei or lowe's or whatever that's what this is about next up let's do titanium whistle because i think we can get through this pretty quickly this was 10 bucks uh pretty cool to have a titanium whistle not something i'd carry every day obviously out somehow without uh cutting a cord. Look at that. Look at that. I still have to cut the paper. <laughs> if you were a backpacker, this thing is uh, probably invaluable. It's 0.1 ounces. Yeah. That is some thick cardboard. Uh, so the brand this is from is Vargo. Titanium emergency whistle. And uh, I would probably put some leather on this, but let's just let's just try it out. You guys aren't gonna be able to hear it. It's just gonna blow out this, the microphone, but it's probably pretty loud. <laughs> that is loud. It's very lightweight. Obviously it is titanium. Dang. So this you can throw down in your compact wallet. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to have something if you're backpacking or something, this is good to have. Obviously not a bad idea to have something like this on your keychain too. It's a very cool little titanium whistle from Vargo. I think that's uh, it's pretty neat. Everybody here in the offices are probably wondering <laughs> what that was. <laughs> pin options were a little scant at REI, but I knew they had Fisher Space Pins. They don't have the F Fisher Space Pin bullet. They have this one, which is the original Space Pin. They have a uh, stowaway, very small compact pin, which I should have gotten to put in the wallet. Idiot. Uh, and then they also have uh, a backpacker pin. I got this one because this, this is essentially, like I in a recent video, maybe it was, I don't know. I did or talked about a uh, right in the rain pin, and that's that's essentially what this is. The right in the rain pin is the same thing in green. Rock solid pin. These are amazing for just leaving in a truck or something because they are Fisher Space Pins. They're pressurized, uh, and you can write in any conditions with these: underwater, upside down, wherever. Standard Fisher Space Pin refill and just a, a click pin version of the the bullet. So. This is the original, just a really solid pin, about $20. You can find these in a lot of places. And I, I love the finish on them. They're like this matte, uh, it's almost got a little bit of a texture to it. Matte black, just ridiculously solid pin, 20 bucks. Uh, I think there was a cheaper option. And then the backpacker, I believe it was, was almost $30. But uh, if you're looking for a pin at REI, you're gonna get a Fisher Space pin because outdoors, you can use them in any of the conditions. and. Uh, this is the one that I preferred, but I, I should have tried the stowaway because I already had one of these, but hindsight. Okay, the, the keys. So that stuff was the things I think most people would care the least about. 
Let's talk about the stuff that you guys can care a little more about, more carry-oriented stuff. Um, you guys are probably familiar with the Orbit key by now. It is just a Chicago screw with either a leather or rubber cover. And then this one has the little bottle opener pry tool inside. And this, uh, this was actually on clearance. I think it was $13 for this key organizer, which is a really good price for an Orbit key. And then I got two carabiners. The reason I said earlier is because I figured this wouldn't work with this. You could obviously just put a little split ring on here and, and use this for your keys. You can also just not have a carabiner and throw this down in your pockets. Or if you wanted to slide your Orbit key on a carabiner, you can throw it on this. This is the G series from Night Ties. I got a size up from the one that I got at Lowe's. Uh, it retains your keys and stuff down here. So when you open up the first spring gate, it doesn't nothing comes off, which is very, very nice. So obviously you can just throw this on the carabiner or you can just throw this in your pocket if you don't want a carabiner. Uh, but these are these are pretty neat. This was $5. I think this one was also about five bucks and 13 for the Orbit key. But you guys know how this works. It's just a little Chicago screw with a post. So you can slide your keys on here. You could take this off if you don't want it. And then put your keys on, tighten it down, and it just keeps your keys in the same order always. And these are toolless. There's no tools. There is a lot of Nitai stuff at REI, so you can find a lot of different key solutions, but I was not expecting to find an Orbit key at REI. Uh, I don't know how much longer they're gonna carry Orbit keys because it was on clearance. Maybe they're getting different ones in. I don't know, uh, but for now, I at least found one at my local REI. Okay, the multi-tool. Uh, these are pretty interesting. The Gerber armbar, which is a screwdriver multi-tool with a pocket clip, I believe. It does have a pocket. Does it have a pocket clip? It does not have a pocket clip. Just kidding. On the back, so you've got a two-sided quarter-inch bit driver and all some scissors, a bottle opener, pry bar, and a uh, fine edge blade. No serrations, thank God. I hate when they do a really cool tool like this and throw serrated blades on it. Just drives me nuts. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and take out the Leatherman ratchet. I don't know that these will work together. In a perfect world, they will, but they may not. So obviously this is a pretty dang compact multi-tool, but the, the cool part is that you get uh, a quarter inch bit driver in it, which is really, really neat. So this flips around, you got a flathead and a Phillips in a single bit, but you could carry your own bits if you wanted. Use your, your fingers here, you can get out the other. This is a set of scissors, which I'm not sure how it releases. Oh, it goes this way. Okay, so it flips around, spring-loaded scissors. There is an awl tool right here. None of these tools lock, by the way. And then you have a little pry tool and bottle opener that kind of flips right here. And then on the other side, you have a locking uh, straight edge knife, which this is actually really neat. Um, I, I kind of hate that I haven't tried one of these before now. I should have. We have it, the Gerber armbar. I think this was uh, 30 bucks, 34.95 for the arm armbar. And then it's also $30 for this, which is the Leatherman ratchet. So let's see if it works. It should work in theory. Yeah, it would work with this. You get just a standard driver and then you have these little selectors, which is, uh, this is a loosen ratchet and then for tightening. Very neat. It is $30 for a little pocket ratchet, but, but this right here is a really solid compact combo. Gerber armbar and the Leatherman ratchet. Next, let's talk flashlight because uh, I don't know if I've talked about the LD30 on here before. I've had one. Um, I don't know that I actually talked about it on the channel. I can't remember. Maybe I did in the Phoenix video I did a long time ago. Oh, so this isn't magnetic recharging. You actually have to plug the USB cable into the battery. This might not have been a great buy, actually, because I'm pretty sure, what is the one? Is it PD? I don't know, let me let me search on Amazon. So this was not the Phoenix flashlight that I thought it was. I was thinking of the PD35R, I guess it is. I can't remember which Phoenix flashlight it is, but basically there's one that has a magnetic port on the side. This is totally fine. This is an 18650 sized flashlight, but you have a little USB port at the top of the battery here. Um, that basically means that this isn't gonna have quite the same output as far as like run times go as a, a typical 18650 light. But you do have the convenience of still being able to use other 18650s in here. And then the one that's in here is just USB rechargeable. This has a tail switch function, which is why I grabbed it because I, I like a good clicky tail switch. And then your side switch is how you 
select your different modes. Um, so you can cycle through them. There are like five or six different modes. Turbo high, medium low, eco strobe and SOS. I'm not exactly sure how to get to the strobe and SOS, probably a long press, yep. And you can click back and forth between those and then a long press will get you out of it too. Um, I like this light, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. I'm a little bummed by that because I read the tag and I think I just got the two mixed up. One of them was definitely a magnetic recharging one. Not that that matters a whole lot, but I do uh, kind of wish that I, I had grabbed the other one instead. But uh, I don't remember which one that one was either. But still, that's a, a really solid flashlight on the upper end of what I would carry as far as EDC goes. But uh, I do really like Phoenix flashlights and this is the LD30. <laughs> Next to last is the watch. And uh, I kind of have been wanting some sort of fitness tracker for some time. Hadn't really had uh, my thoughts or sights set on a Garmin of any sort. I'd been thinking Fitbit, but I, I really didn't want a Fitbit. And uh, I, I struggle with it because I, I really like watches. I like automatic watches. I don't necessarily like smart watches, uh, but I wanted to give this one a shot. So I did. It seemed like the most bang for buck out of all the ones I looked at there. It was not cheap, it's $400, but it's solar powered. Uh, and it's a fitness tracker with heart rate monitoring, GPS, all sorts of other stuff. So I think that's really neat. And especially if I'm like out camping and stuff, this seems fairly rugged. I don't have to worry about it so much. And I did already open this up so I could get it set up before I started recording. But basically in the box, you just get a little data plug, I guess for plugging it in, charging it maybe. I'm not exactly sure, it just magnetizes right there. You can probably plug it into a computer to sync it but everybody's got phones. Everybody's just gonna use their phone to sync it. $400, so this is not a cheap watch by any stretch. I think for all that it has, I think it's a fairly uh, reasonable price. I'm not sure that I'm gonna actually like wearing it because again, I'm a, get, I'm a watch guy. I like my watches and wearing something like this on my wrist every day is probably not something that I'm gonna be super jazzed on ever, but you can at least swap out the bands. It's a 22 millimeter watch strap. And I don't really like the look of this. It wasn't super comfortable, but it just so happens that I've got these 22 millimeter uh, Barton bands that are quick release. So I can just throw this on here really quick. I think it makes it look much better. It is much more comfortable. I will take off my Damasco. So there it is on the wrist. This thing is pretty neat. I was going through some of the settings had it set up and stuff. Um, check the heart rate. There's no data right now. I don't know how it works. 76, 75. Uh, so it's got my steps and stuff. I've, I've been sitting here since I set it up, so it's not really tracking anything. All with Rockwell, it's got my schedule and the weather and all sorts of other stuff on it. So I'm not a huge fan of smartwatches, but I am gonna give this one a shot. So this one I, is, is kind of pulling double duty as far as the REI video goes and a smartwatch. Um, I do like the look of it on this green strap. I didn't necessarily like the original, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. $400 is a lot for a watch that I don't like to wear, but I'm starting to work out and I need something to track my fitness and I didn't want a Fitbit. It's such a weird thing to navigate. I don't know what, like how to navigate. I want a fitness tracker, but I don't wanna not wear the watches that I like and, and love to wear every day. So I don't want one on each wrist. That looks really goofy. Such a weird thing, but uh, this one so far seems pretty cool. And uh, I'll put it to the test. I'll do another video on this watch in particular. Not that I think people are gonna care about this watch specifically, maybe, I don't know. But uh, for me, this is one that, that caught my attention the most. The last thing uh, I kind of expected to come away from this with I knew it was gonna be a Benchmade, but I kind of expected it to be the Crooked River because this thing, uh, well, the mini Crooked River is a pretty cool knife. Uh, the big Crooked River, well, let's just show you. So I have the Umnumzan somewhere around here. It's in this, the old Chris Reeve Umnumzan, which is a fairly large knife. Like, I don't think anybody is gonna disagree with that. This is a pretty big pocket knife to be carrying around. I also have sitting here the Auto Adamas, which is the large version. Also a big knife, if you line these up, I mean, you can see the Auto Adamas has almost, it's like a quarter to half inch on it. And then we have the Crooked River. If you line all these up at the bottom, I mean, it's got a good half inch on the Umnumzan and maybe a quarter inch on the Adamas. 
This is a big knife, uh, probably bigger than most people are gonna wanna carry, probably not the knife that most people would come away with, but the only other options were like a, a Griptilian, a, an Osborne, a Bug Out. I've got all those, I've had all those, and I wanted to, to see how a full-sized Crooked River would fit in the pocket in the hand. It is, I'm out of frame, it's so big. <laughs> Uh, this is just a beefy knife. Obviously, S30V steel. You have your access lock. It does not come with a deep carry clip, which is my least favorite thing about the Crooked Rivers. Um, I've got plenty of deep carry cl clips to put on it. And, and it's got perfect centering. It's got really good action. Straight out of the box. Well, not out of the box. They did not give me a box. Uh, so they gave me 15% off. I actually paid $175 for this when the sticker on it was uh, 205, which is nice. So there you have it. This is what the carry would look like from REI. The wallet is kind of trash, if I'm completely honest. I mean, I'm sure it would work as a wallet, but they call it a compact wallet and it's not compact at all. Um, maybe it's good for backpacking or something. It's not a good EDC wallet, I wouldn't say. Um, the whistle is something that you could take or leave, but I just thought it was cool, so I picked it up. We have the Garmin Instinct Solar, so it is a solar watch. Uh, the Benchmade Crooked River, a Fisher Space Pin, the Phoenix LD30, and an Orbit Key. I had a carabiner, but I think if I were to carry this, I wouldn't put it on the carabiner, and this is how I would carry this gear. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Could be better. As I said, the wallet's kind of well, but the rest is really solid gear, like this right here really solid carry. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel, hit the links in the description down below. You can pick up everything that I talked about in this video and many of those links are gonna be affiliate links so you can help support while buying the stuff that you want. You can also go to carrycommission.com or carry.best to buy gear and merch directly from me or you can go to patreon.com forward slash best MEDC to support there. Also be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at best MEDC. And with that said, and until next time, carry on.